So we come to number 14 of the 18 form Quigong sequence. Um, it's a nice basic one you see in all the Carters. Basically it's sort of here, and again it's just a front punch. Um, within each one they believe these to help certain meridians or organs or electromagnetic rivers. Um, this one's believed to help within the Quigong sequences, the stomach bowel and the pericardium, the heart lining. Um, I'm not going down them sort of routes with this, this video. I'm going down more the uh, yogic and Pilates path of the breathing and the hypnotic breath. So we're just basically mixing breath to motion and movement, which will in turn benefit every single organ cell, single the body anyway. But again, generally within the Qigong sequences, they have a specific focus on each organ. Um, but we're not going down that path. Um, at the beginning I've done the eight brocades and then I've added this 18 form Qigong sequence and then after that's a nine form. So it's 35 moves in all. Um, so this is the 14th move of the 18 form Qigong sequence added onto the eight brocades. So that will be 20, number 22 out of 35. Again, like I say, you can do these segmentally because we're going right into the breathing. We're not doing too much movement because the movement you can do in a couple of moves in a minute, you know, we go a lot, lot into the breathing. Um, nature is all not mine to find our balance before we start. So with that, we're gonna go straight in with the Pilates breath to start off with. We're gonna zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals right now. And as you do that right now, zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals. You're gonna breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. So you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips. Now, as you do that, you'll feel that breath coming in low and deep to these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Okay, just feel that coming in organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Lovely, because there's nowhere else the breath to go, apart from into them lower lobes of lungs, there's nowhere else that can go. So as you do that, that's Pilates breath. Okay, in short, we're going a little bit short on that. It's what you call lateral thoracic breathing, because as you, like now, zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals and take the navel towards the spine, as you do that right now, you'll feel that breath Come in low and deep to these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Okay, and that's gonna help us use the pelvic floor and our corset muscle, our powerhouse, our girdle of strength, three layers deep, just all segmentally stabilizing the spine. Okay, lovely. So as you're doing that right now, breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips while zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals. We're gonna take it slightly down the yogic path. So we're gonna close the mouth. Same deal though, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. And we're gonna breathe in and out through the nose. Okay, still engaging that corset muscle, three layers deep, what we call the transverse abdominus by zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals. That will support the spine in our Pilates manner but we, we're just closing the mouth now and we're breathing it out through the nose as we do that. Okay, and that's gonna help lengthen the breath. Okay, the whole wheel cycle of the breath is gonna be lengthened now. And as that happens, as that happens right now, you'll feel that wheel cycle lengthen in a more yogic way. Also, that's more filtering breath on one of the yogic breaths. Breathing it out through the nose. As you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, going near to Ashtanga yoga breath, but not quite. Okay. Now we're gonna take our mind to that out breath. So we're gonna elongate that out breath longer than the in breath. Okay. So as you take your mind to that out breath, consciously take your mind to that out breath. Quadruple it, double it, triple it, whatever you like the out breath. Just make it longer than the in-breath. And as you do that right now, you'll feel them parasympathetic nervous system benefits and responses. The parasympathetic nervous system is being benefited by elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. 
all the things you don't think about, sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation, all being benefited by lengthening the out breath longer than the in breath. Just encouraging them restful relaxation responses <clears throat> and endless streams of comfort. <clears throat> all the things you don't think about within the body are being benefited. Sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation. Even cellular communication and function <clears throat> are all being benefited by just allowing that simplicity, just to relax the mind by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. Just encouraging them endless streams of comfort that come into the nervous system and calm everything down. All the housekeeping properties of the body are being benefited by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. Now again, you can stick with that breath as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, breathing it out for the nose while elongating the out breath longer than the in breath without forcing anything, quadruple it, double it, triple it, whatever you like, the out breath, just make it longer than the in breath and allowing that simplicity to relax the mind. Now, as you do that, if you wanna take this breath on a little bit further, to so more advanced yogic breath, you can do that. If you can't get this, don't worry. Just carry on doing the breathing we're doing. Zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out abdominals, breathing it out for the nose, while elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. If you wanna add ujjayi breath, victorious breath, more advanced yogic breath, then we grip at the esophagus here. Ujjayi breath. In Sanskrit, victorious breath. So again, it sounds like this. The only way you do it is to demonstrate. It's like a, as you grip at your esophagus, it's like a, and it's an exhale. It's like going ah, with a mouth shut. Gonna demonstrate that a few times. It's a, shoulders down. like a soft, silky, whistling ujjayi breath, victorious breath, raspy sound from the back of the throat, nearly sort of Darth Vader breath in a way. Okay, it's sort of focusing breath, a natural focusing breath we do when trying to focus on something, like a fine motor skill, like thread a needle through something, a bit of DIY, we might, we, DIY, we might make a sort of bit of a sound, but we're overemphasizing that sound to really help your mind focus. Gives the mind something to focus on, okay, within the breath. If you can't get that, don't worry. Otherwise, keep on zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, breathing in and out from the nose, <clears throat> while elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. Or you can get the ujjayi breath as you grip at your esophagus. Sort of seashore breath in a way, okay? <clears throat> Lovely. That'll also help you fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body as you're doing that right now, with the Ujjayi breath especially. Help us build the heat in the body, help us fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Now again, we're gonna calibrate and synchronize and integrate the breath with the movement. Nice, simple move, okay? Again, it's just coming down to here. It's like a carter, one here and back. Now again, I'm going to use the Iyengar Yoga principles. Feet hip width apart or slightly wider. I would go no deeper than knees and arm or toes. Okay, no deeper than knees and arm or toes, or less if you like. I'm going to stick to the Iyengar principles. There are other schools of thought, but I'm going to stick to the old school safety Iyengar Yoga principles. Okay, of alignment. So again, you can either start high or go down as deep as you like, okay? On the motion coming out, we're gonna elongate the out breath. So that, that'd be slower, and it'd be a sharper in breath coming back. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and demonstrate that. Lengthen up for the crown, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals. Feet slightly wider than hip width apart, come down sort of horse riding stance, or more narrow and more high. See what suits you. Make it unique to you. Gonna go deeper, you can go deeper, or stay up high here. Supinate the palms here, 
then you're going to pronate the palms to the centre of the chest. Shoulders down. Again, you're going to exhale nice and slow here. Then breathe in sharper. Then exhale for longer on this motion. These two knuckles come here in the centre line of the body. We go deeper, go deeper. Okay, but no deeper than knees and lower and toes. Here we go, sumo stance, horse riding stance nearly. Exhale here, nice and long, breathing sharper here. Okay, you're gonna come up and down. You can exhale down. I would go no deeper than nine, line with toes or less. Breathing in, coming up. Be sharp on this breath. Slow on the way down with that out breath. Okay. So again, you can play with that movement. But again, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, lengthen up from the crown. The base of the crown is nice and still. It's just the levers moving. Nice elongated exhale. Then breathing in sharper on the way back. You can be going up and down or staying still. Stay up higher or go down as deep as you like. Make these unique to you. With the speed and the tempo and the modifications we're giving. Okay, lovely. That's a charging fist. And again, you see that in a lot of the carters, etc. And zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, simply elongate the out breath for as long as you like. These two knuckles come to the midline of the body, coming back. Lengthen up for the crown as if there's a puppet string, a hook, a brace on your head, putting your head up towards the ceiling. And simply elongate the out breath for as long as you like. Imagine that trickle of water just ran down your back and dispersing. Mount the shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. That lovely soft fear between the shoulder blades. Again, everything's soft here. You don't have to lock out the joints like in karate and all that. You're actually keeping the arm just shy of locking out. Soft, slightly bent. Okay. And then breathing in, coming back. Lovely low battery there. Next one is the wild goose. I think I said on the last tape it was the wild goose, but it's this one, then the wild goose. But that was number 14 of the 18 form Qigong sequence, which is 22, the whole 35, the three forms put together. Okay, we've got the wild goose next. Bang, lovely. 